Welcome of UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago. But he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business. And that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Goliath! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is my fight. as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Not there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the count. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Ooh, nice, nice right hand. Under three minutes remain in round one. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Knee 
coming to the body, it's blocked. Throws the right hand there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Under two minutes now to go round one. Lee's head kick is blocked. No damage there. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice punch, Lance. Ooh, head kick, Lance. He's hurt. Try to establish that jab. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice right hand. Nice body kick right under the elbow. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Another place oh. position. Watch for the tricky trips that he uses when he's in close. Looks like close. have to be careful now. Be cautious. Look for the take. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Right hook to the head block. Circling to his right. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Big punch from the clinch. And he landed the right hand there. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. A stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Blocks the shot. Came of inches right there, Damn, boy. Yeah. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. finish that is oh man this dude is good ah oh, that jab hurt him big powerful punch land now he gets back to range what a body kick Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. They continue to exchange. Oh, single collar tie here. 
And they separate. Final seconds here. Nice punch lands over the top. Uh, up, up, up. Right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the outcome. Even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. That landed. Damaging strike there. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making up for lost time here. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Nice head kick. Over and over, he's landed this big body kick. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Just missed with the straight left hand. Do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. That's a big strike right here. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Just a slip there. Head kick lands. Right hand upstairs. Big kick. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is, you can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank. And then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes. And before you know it, the fight's over. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the screen. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Punch him in the back. Circling towards the left now. Keep pushing forward. 
Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Wow, huge head kick. He went high on that one. Caught the kick. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Effective strike there by Lee. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Big roundhouse now just misses. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Just missed on the overhand left. Good head movement there. There's no tell on that leg kick. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Ten seconds remaining here in round four. Twenty minutes down. Potentially five to go. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. Ready to fight? Ready. It is the fifth and final round. Gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Massive head kick. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. What a tricky head kick. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Flush right hand is true. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Big punch lands through the middle. Just misses with the jab. Stupid shoot. Oh, he's the fight thus far. How's his opponent 
Thanks for staying. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. All right, less than a minute to go now in this. Take a head kick like this. That is such toughness. He to be on his feet right now. Oh, collar tie. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him there. And he comes through with a big knee. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. How the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 49 46. For the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly a pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly did dictate if the fight was 